How's it going, dancers? Dr. Scott here from Dance Performance Training. Coming today to show you three of our favorite exercises to improve your dance jumps. Now, I want to put a little um, caveat in the front of that. Okay, I'm going to show you kind of level two, three jump work. If you are not already cross training, not already doing some of the stuff we talk about, I might back up. These are usually pretty safe, and we'll talk about safety in each exercise as we go. Um, but the first step in training your jumps is making sure we have some control with our muscles. So I want to make sure I can engage the front of my thigh, big muscles for jumping. Now the one muscle for jumping is the butt, your glutes. So if you're not feeling that muscle work in other exercises, we need to back up. We need to make sure you can feel and engage that muscle, whether it's through glute bridges, hip thrust, other types of exercises to get that working. We also want the hamstring. Most of your jump power comes from here. Some people think it's down at the ankle. It's not, but we do want to have good control at your ankle so we're not rolling your ankle stability there. And also, if I don't have good control of my back, I can lose some of that power through that loss of movement. So we also want to make sure we have a good core control. So those things come first. So I do want you to remember jumping, jump training is not all about doing jumps. It's about making all these things work together. So when I do jumps, they click and I get more oomph off the floor. Okay, and one little trick as well. So when we're working on jumps, we try not to get volume. That means we don't want to do thousands of jumps. That's pretty hard on your body and you're probably already doing jumps in dance class. So one, we train these other movements first, then we spend some time training them fast. We don't want to do all our training super fast because it doesn't help us build the control and strength to the same level. But once we have that control and strength, we do some of it fast because that works the same type of muscle fibers your jumps work. And then to also take away that volume, which can cause you to have that kind of achy knees and some of that irritation and overuse. It's what we use in one of our um, very specific jump programs. We take those jumps into a pool or water. When you are in water, maybe up to your waist, and you jump, the water is resistant, so you can't go as high and you have to push harder, but it's also much less impact because water controls your landing. So that's one little trick you can use when you're doing some jump training on your own, is if you can get in water. I know when I'm recording this, it's kind of winter for many of you, um, but keep that in the back of your mind. Decrease the impact. Okay, so you're going to do all that foundational work still. You're not going to just focus on what I showed you. But after that, you have those foundations. Here's three exercises we use with our dancers to help get more power. The first exercise is going to be a squat position, which you know you're going to need back control if you haven't done it. Also remember, if you ever need modifications, you don't feel comfortable with these, shoot us a reply. Don't do exercises that don't feel good or you don't feel ready for. So this one is not jumping, but as we talked about, moving quickly. So I'm going to show you from the front, we're going to get in our kind of squat position, which is not always the same as a turned out plie or anything like that. And we're going to, once I'm comfortable with the movement, we're going to work the movement fast. This means I have no impact. I'm not slamming down, but I'm working the same muscles that power me up for jumps. Once you can do that very well, maybe you're doing 10 to 20 fast with good control, you can even add some resistance. That may be a weight, that may be a fat pack, that may be a resistance band, but now I can speed up my movement. And remember, we're not working in always dance position. It's about getting the muscle engagement for my jumps when I'm in dance. That is what we call speed squats. And speed squats are a great way to train the jump muscles with no impact, get you ready to power up when you're doing your jumps. The next exercise we're going to be doing is a step up jump. You can use a stair in your house, a step stool, even some um, foam mats stacked on top of each other. 
I do recommend whenever you're doing jump training, you put on shoes if you're not very comfortable with the exercise. That gives you some cushion, protects your toes, things like that. I do these a lot, um, and I train in my own gym, so there's no other people, so I'm not worried about my gross feet being on other people's mats and things. So I do recommend shoes if you're not comfortable with these, or in your, you're in a public place where other people's gross feet are. Um, not calling your feet gross, just feet in general, and not the uh, most fun thing for people to share the, the germ. So, anyway, back to the exercise and not get off on the, the feet comment. You're going to start with one foot on the step. What we're going to do is push with this leg up into a jump. Because my foot is up higher and I'm only using one leg, we don't get super high. That's okay, because the higher we go, the harder we come down. So this is a little bit more low impact on your legs. So up. So it's a step up, jump, come down control. From the front, we're focused on my knee and ankle alignment. If you feel like you can't keep steady, either step back, focus on knee stability, or try not to push so high until you get good control. The last exercise we're going to show you today is going to be in a lunge position. As we keep saying, you need to master the lunge position before you worry about anything else. So real quick, when I'm in a lunge, we're watching stability and we're watching where my legs are. I'm not here. I'm really good in control in this position. Again, we're in a challenging balance position, so I don't expect the jumps to be hot, but we are working the same muscles. Hopefully you see this repetition coming. That's how we train outside of dance for dance. Getting the muscles working in new positions, safe positions, less overused. When you go into dance, it all clicks for you. So what I'm doing here, I'm in my lunge position. I go down and then jump up, land control. If you need to be next to something for balance, don't worry about it. Use whatever you need. Go low until you feel comfortable And from the side, I debated including different exercises. I really enjoy this one for jumps, but it does take a lot of stability. So please, please try to keep yourself safe. Don't do exercises you're not ready for. If you're looking for more jump exercises or different exercises, shoot us a reply, send us a message, and we'll get some things that are a little bit more lined up for what you're looking for. Thanks and talk to you soon.